four. It's the tenth question in your document. Uh, topic one, measurements and uncertainty. So the question says you have a student. The student carries out an experiment. So he's going to uh, do an experiment to determine the variation of the intensity of light with distance. From the point source, here we have a point source. The light source is at the center of a transparent spherical cover. So this is a transparent spherical cover. The radius of this spherical cover is C. OK, so here the distance from here till here is C, the radius of the. And here we have the light of source. Here is the light of source. Now the student measures the distance X from the surface. So this is the distance X from the surface. Here is the surface so from here till the light sensor from here. OK, we know that intensity of light equals the power of light divided by surface area. Now, surface area of a sphere, it's 4 times pi r squared. r will be this distance, all the distance from the source till the light sensor. So r will be c plus x. So I use this formula. The formula is written here. I equals P divided by 4 pi times R squared C plus X squared. Now the relationship can also be written as follows. 1 over square root, uh, square root of intensity equal constant times X plus K times C. Now the question is show that k equals 2 square root pi over p the power. I need to prove this relationship that this constant k equals 2 square root of pi over p. Now from this equation, from this relationship i, I can from here, from this one, I can write 1 over i so I have 1 over I equals equals flip. This is I can call it equation 1. So from equation 1, 1 over I flip this one, flip, flip numerator and denominator. So I'll have 4 pi C plus X all to the power 2 divided by P. And this relation number two, I, I can square this relation, so I'm going to square both sides of relation two. So when I square relation two, I should get one from here, from this one. One over I will equal k squared times x plus c square times x plus c squared. So here, this equation, I'm going to call it 3. And here I have equation 4. They're equal, 1 over i and 1 over i. So from equation 3 and 4, we can say that from equation 3 and 4, 4 pi times c plus x squared divided by p, this will equal k squared times c plus x squared. This one and this one, we can cancel out. So I will get k squared equals 4 pi over p. Take square root for both sides. So k will be 2 square root pi over P and this one that I want to prove it. Now the second part of the question. 
The student, when he did the experiment, he obtains a set of data and uses this to plot a graph of one over square root of the intensity with the distance from the surface of this uh, transparent cover till, till the sensor X and he got a straight line. I need to find the value of C. Now, two ways to do this one. I need to find C. One of them, I can find the slope. OK. And if you look at the equation, what is the equation of a straight line? The equation of a straight line, y equals mx plus c. Compare this equation of straight line with the equation he got for the intensity. So if I want to compare this one with 1 over square root of i equals k x plus k c. This one will represent y and this is y, y axis. x is my x axis. So this one, it's it give me the slope. OK, I need to find C. C in this case will represent the slope. That will represent because C is Y intercept. But I can divide both sides by by the slope to get C or I can find the slope first. OK, and then take any point, one of the point, substitute in this equation. And we can get the value of C. So let's do that. First, I have to find the slope. I need to find the slope first. So I'm going to take the first point, this point here, and that point there, this point. Now, what is the coordinate, the x coordinate for this one? Here, let's see how, uh, each square in the x axis represent what I have here, the distance from here to here. It's 5 and I have 10 squares, 5 over 10 to give me 0.5. So each square will equal the scale of each square will equal 0.5. So here I will have. This point is. Square and a half, which means. 0.75, so this value is 5.75 because each square is 0.5. So I have a square and a half, a square is 0.5, and a half a square, 0.25. So it's 5.75, here is 25. Now the value here, I have five, each square here, each square will represent five over five, so it will give me one. <coughs> so here the value here, this value, it's this one, two square up, so it's 12, and this value here, here, this one, it's around one and a half a square, so 36.5. So rise over run, if I want to find this, the, the slope, change color, I'm going to find this distance and this distance. So this is rise or delta y over delta x over run. So the slope here, the slope will equal change in y is 36.5 minus 12 divided by change in x is 25.5.75. And this will give me around 1.27. I did not convert X centimeter to meter. I should convert it to, to meter because here the unit is meter. I should have consistency in my unit. So this one, the final answer should be times 10, 10 to the power two. Anyway, I'll keep it this way. Now I need to find C, I need to find C. I can take a point and substitute in the equation. 
So I'm going to take the first point, which is this one, 5.75. This will represent my x axis and my y axis, which is 1 over square root of y. It's uh, this point 12. So I will take the slope m, m equal 1.75, 1.27, 1, 1.27. And I'm going to take a point, the first point, which is 5.75, and the other point, the other, the other, the value for the y axis, it's 12. This, it's x axis x, and this one, it's the y axis 1 over square root of y. And then I'm going to substitute in this equation. Okay. So the equation. It's 1 over square root of i equals k, k, it's the slope, k, times x plus k times c. The value for y is 12 equals, the value for the slope is 1.27, x is 5.75 plus 1.27, times c. Okay, now we can take this, no, keep the numbers together and the variables together. So if I take this one to the other side, I should get 4.6975 and this will equal 1.27c. Divide both sides Divide both sides by 1.27 by 1.27 should get the value of C around 3.69. I remember I did not, I didn't uh, convert centimeter to meter. So this is the value of C. The other part, the last part of the question. I need to determine the value of P, okay? So I can use this formula for the K. K, we have this formula in the question, which is two, so this is the slope, pi divided by P, square root both sides. So it will be K square, I'm going to square root both sides. So this one square, square, square. Okay, so it will be k square will equal 4 times square with the square root, we cancel pi divided by p. Now swap to find the power. So p will equal 4 pi divided by k square. Now remember, the value of k, we got it from the previous part of this question, previous previous section of this question, it was 1.27. I didn't convert to centimeter, remember. Now I need to convert it to meter. So to convert it to meter, this number goes here, the value down when we calculated the slope, okay? Here, these values of X are in centimeter. So centimeter to meter times 10, here, this one, should be here if I want to convert it times 10 to the power negative 2, which means the final answer should be times 10 to the power 2 when I convert to meter. So the slope is 1.70, 1.27 times 10 to the power 2, times 10 to the power 2. So it will be 4 pi divided by 1.27 times 10 to the power 2 square and this will give me 7.78 times 10 to the power negative 4 watt. What is the unit of the slope? The unit of the slope it's from here, from the graph. It's watt 
to the power negative two times meter divided by meter. So it's what? Let's write it down here. Rise over run, the slope, the unit for this one. What? To the power negative half times meter divided by meter. So it will be one to the power negative half. That's it. See you, inshallah, in the next uh, question.